grace, grace. The in the kumazari the hiki the zunda haki. Grace is of God. Grace is divine. Grace is a mystery that is beyond the, the understanding of workings of man. Because it's God alone that gives grace. All grace, all different forms of grace for different purposes comes from God himself. So that we need grace in this journey. We need grace to run the race of life. We need grace as a Christian to run to the finishing point without falling by the wayside. We need grace to fulfill our divine assignment on it. We need grace in all areas of life because without grace, we will struggle, we will struggle and struggle and end up in futile labor. So that grace is required for everything on it. Grace, grace, grace is required. Thank you, Abba Let's look at the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, from verse 1. We read from verse 1 to verse 8. And ye at the quicken, who were dead in trespasses and sin, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the head, the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the loss of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and we are by nature children of wrath, as even as others. Verse 4. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, at quicken us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved. And at raised us up together, made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show his, his, the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. Verse 8, for by grace ye are saved through faith. And that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of ourselves, not by our strength, not by our labor. Our salvation is by the grace of God, which is the gift of us, God towards us. So that for us to assess grace, the starting point of the operation of grace from in the life of any man is from the point of salvation. While we were yet sinners, while we were dead in sin, as we were sin. Because everything about us was sin. It was sin in nature. Our life, everything, we are conceived in sin, we are born in sin, we grew to know the way of sin. A state of total separation from God. Yet, that make us see that it quickened us. We were quickened by grace, not by our works. Not because we tried to work out our salvation. No. Not because we tried to labor, labor, then God now saved us. No. But we don't even know anything like salvation when he gave his only begotten son to go and die for us so that if we believe on him, we can have eternal life. So that by grace, we were saved. Joy of God Tabernacle is a Christian organization where people are raised to find joy in walking with God. Discover the joy of creation and reason for their existence. Joy of God Tabernacle, giving joy to lives. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. We were saved by grace. That, that's how the book, book of this Ephesians from, verse, uh, from chapter 2 from verse 1 was making us to see that in time past, we were dead in sin. We were not just sinners. We were sin ourselves. We were conceived in sin. We were born in sin. We had the nature of sin. We lived, we moved, we had our being in sin. We were totally disconnected from God. But God so much loved for us that he sent his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to come and die so that whosoever believe on him will be saved and have eternal life. So that our salvation is by grace. It's by grace. So that if any man is not yet saved, is not yet born into the kingdom of God, we not have access 
to the operations of grace, will not have access to the packages of grace, will not have access to grace, and may not be able to run the race of life with grace. Such life will be full of struggles, and such life will be continually disconnected from God until the person gives his or life to Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Maybe you are listening to me and you have not given your life to Christ and you've heard the word of uh, the, the message of salvation, time stamp number, or you've not heard at all. This is an opportunity for you to make up your mind to yield your life to Christ today so that your spirit man can be better into the kingdom of God and be removed totally from the worldly system, from the kingdom of darkness, from the Adamic nature of sin, so that you can now possess the nature of Christ. And by doing so, you have access to grace. And if you are born again already, and you are still struggling in life, then check it. Are you walking according to the expectation of God for your life? Are you living as a child of God? Then, you need to also still cry for grace. That Father, have mercy upon me. Because to live as a Christian, it requires grace. And if God is sending us on any divine errand, we need grace. We cannot use our natural strength or intellectual capacity to run any divine errand. It will all end up in mess, frustration, struggles, and futile labor. We need grace in everything. And God is the God of all grace that gives to every man according to his own will, according to the purpose of which he's sending us with the grace. So that there's yeah, in the summa kaba santo shanda, reason for God's granting us grace in different areas of life. And we cannot run the race without grace. So that in this race that we are in, this Christian race, we need grace. We need grace. We need grace. So some of us don't know the importance of grace. Grace is a divine influence of God upon man to enable the man to function in the packages of God, in the plan and purpose of God, to be able to deliver the express mandate on the person for God, uh, the sacrament of satire, to be able to fulfill the uh, divine assignment given unto the person by God, so that we need grace. Without grace, hmm, the devil will frustrate our works, we frustrate all that concerns us, and we frustrate the assignment granted us, so that we need grace in all things. We need grace. We need grace. We need grace. We need grace. To be saved is by grace. My inner it doesn't hand the down and born again. I don't need grace again. I'm safe already. We still need grace to run the race. And within the race, there are several assignments, there are several things to fulfill as purpose in God's vast agenda. So we need grace. We even need grace to live. We need grace for good health. We need grace to give birth. We give, need grace to conceive. We need grace for everything. We need grace to please God. We need grace to reach a divine goal in life. So we need grace. We need grace. If you could go look at the book of Second Timothy, chapter one, verse nine, who had saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to His own purpose and grace, according to His own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. He saved us. He called us. Every one of us we have calling from God unto doing one thing or the other in the house of God and towards the things of God. So that even in the kingdom of God, we all have divine assignments as different kind of calling. You may not be called to the pulpit. You may not be called into the five-fold ministry office, but there are still many other assignments which is also calling for us one way or the other. So that we are in as God position you in his house or in his kingdom. Hearing as God positioned you. Maybe you are trying to just let me just this much. After all, I'm not a pastor. But you still need grace. Any area that God calls you into, you need grace. Why did you satoli bashanda? Any mercy God has put in your hand, you need grace. Or else the devil will frustrate it. Or else you yourself will mess it up if there's not taken. May God help us in Jesus' name. So the word of God has come to us today. We need grace. Without grace, there'll be frustration. Without grace, it will be difficult to run the race. Without grace one will compromise. Without grace, one will not get towards finishing line with a good testimony. So we need grace. We need grace. So go ahead and cry for grace. The Lord grant me grace. In the areas of your life that you are struggling, Lord grant me grace. 
and you want to settle down in life and whenever you are ready for your settlement things come things happen strange events unfold and before you know it it is a long story you need grace to break through we need grace for everything so god and i cry for grace yes so paliba so bali and the syria is there anyone struggling in any area of life father we ask for grace to break through we ask for grace to prevail we ask for grace oh god to have short testimony, we ask for grace, so God, Masete Librado Santaya, to assess the victory that's already given to us in Christ Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We receive grace, oh God, to press on in the rest of life. As many as those are struggling with sin, they don't want to, but they are still struggling with sin. They don't want to commit it, but they still find themselves in it one way or the other. Father, let grace be given indeed, O God, for them to overcome sin, O God, and live above sin in Jesus' name. Is there anyone struggling with one divine assignment or the other? Father, let grace be given. For everyone, O God, to prosper in the assignment that is granted us, O God, fulfilling purpose in it all, O God. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your mighty and holy name, O God. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.